All right, good morning, kindergarten. Good morning. I'm gonna start off with group one. Group one, keep turning your books to page 107. Once you turn to 107, look at number one. The one simply wants you to write the number that comes before, just like we have practiced many, many times before. Let's look at 41. What number comes before the number 41? What number? 40. That is correct. 40 comes before 41. Now look at 76. What number comes before 76? 75. Great job. That is correct. Good job. As we go over to number two, number two wants you to add. But let's look at number three. Number three simply asks you to fill in the bubble beside the objects which are more than one inch. So what you're going to do is look at that ruler. You're going to look at that ruler. And notice, the first time you see that ruler, number one, put your finger on number one. That means one inch. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the penny, the pencil, and the car. And decide which one is more than one inch. Let's first take a look at the penny. It was a penny. Do you think that is more than one inch? No, that is not more than one inch. So we, we will not, we will not bubble the penny in. But let's look at the pencil. The pencil, is that more than one inch? Yes, that pencil is more than one inch, so you will bubble that in. Now, as you look at the car, you have to decide, is a car more than one inch? If it is, you will bubble it in. If it's not, you will leave it alone. Now, let's look at number four. Number four says, write the number your teacher says. So, for the green skateboard, write the number 13. Write the number 13 for the green skateboard. For the orange skateboard, write the number 96, the number 96. And for the purple skateboard, write the number 107. Write the number 107. Now let's flip the page over to page 108. Number one wants you to write the number that comes after. So let's look at 29. What number we think comes after 29? What number? Yes, it is 30. 30 comes after 29, and look at 64. What number comes after 64? 65, 65. That's correct. That's how you solve number one. Let's move on to number two with matching the clocks. Let's show the correct time. All right, notice, what we do for today, for example, we're gonna work with the two clocks at top, the four clocks with bottom. So when you, I'm sorry, the three clocks we have with bottom. So look at the first clock we have right here. So we have to figure out what time does this clock say? Notice, the hour hand is the short hand is pointed at 5, but the minute hand is at 3. What does that mean, the minute hand is at 3? Very simple, you start from 1, so count 5, 10, 15. 15, so 5, 15. Find 5, 15 right here. Age of the line to match. Let's look at this clock. So the hour hand is at 1, but the minute hand is at 6. What does that mean? Very simple, just like you did with this clock. Start at 1 and count by 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 130. So you draw the line to that one. That's how you solve that particular problem. As you move on to number 3, number 3 wants you to add. But let's look at number 4. Notice the helicopters. It says color 7. So you should only be coloring only 7 helicopters. Only 7. 